my name is Matthew Upson and this is my presentation in support of my fellowship application. So who am I? Just to give you a brief potted history of where I come from, I've got a very unconventional background for a data scientist. After leaving school I did a bachelor's degree in English literature and then went out to work in the outdoor and arboricultural industry for about five years. I spent my summers teaching and learning survival skills in different parts of the world and my winters climbing and cutting down trees. And I had to learn quite a bit of botany and forestry and I decided at some point that I wanted to take this to a higher level. So I went back to school and did an MSc in conservation and forestry at Imperial College London. While I was there, I was lucky enough to be taught by this guy, Professor Mike Crawley, and he literally wrote the R book uh, and gave me a really good introduction to uh, statistical programming. I enjoyed studying at Imperial, so I decided to pursue a PhD at Cranford University, and this led on to a postdoctoral research, all in the area of agroforestry and carbon capture. Uh, so I spent a lot of time sitting in holes counting roots, but I also spent probably even more time uh, developing expertise in a number of open source tools. So I eventually wrote my thesis in LaTeX and tried to make it as reproducible as possible. And after about a year of doing postdoc, I decided to uh, try my chances uh, elsewhere, mainly because I wasn't able to use the technologies that I developed the expertise in. So I rebranded myself as a data scientist and I went looking for a job and I was lucky enough to be recruited by the government statistical service uh, where I worked in the Department for Education um, on pupil attainment and teacher workforce statistics for about a year before moving to my current role in the government digital service. Also about a year ago I took up a post in the Royal Statistical Society uh, on the data science section as the secretary. So what do I do now? Uh, well, I'm based in this building, the Whitechapel building in just outside the city of London for the Government Digital Service. And we basically apply data science and machine learning to solve operational problems for government, whether that is developing data-driven taxonomies to improve the way that people navigate gov.uk, or using machine learning to help us prioritise the way we uh, come back to user feedback on gov.uk. Probably the work I've uh, has had most impact has been my work on improving the way that government produces statistics. So we know that government currently produces more than 14,500 statistical publications. Some of these are one-off and others are released much more regularly, maybe on a monthly basis and everything in between. And at the moment, many of these reports are produced in a sort of manual or semi-manual process that takes a lot of time and often is not very reproducible. So we sort of floated this idea of reproducible analytical pipelines, which is essentially taking the ideas behind reproducible research and deploying them in government for the first time. Uh, the idea being that we produce software packages in R or Python and use literate programming tools like R Markdown and IPython to produce these transparent pipelines, which we can then publish openly on GitHub. And this is the work that I talked about at the uh, Containers for Reproducible Research workshop earlier in the year. So what are my plans for the fellowship? Well, first of all, I've been doing a lot of engagement and outreach this year uh, on the back of my reproducibility work for government. And that's something that I really like to continue into 2018 and take it as far afield as possible, um, speaking at as many conferences as I'm able to. And one of the other possibilities is that uh, through my work with the Royal Statistical Society, we've identified a number of work streams that we're going to take forward. One of those is what does a good data science workflow look like? And in my mind, this is essentially all about reproducibility. And there's likely to be lots of ways that this work overlaps with the work of the Software Sustainability Institute. Um, and I'd expect that we'd be able to organize joint speaking events or workshops uh, and this is something I think that we could use to reach out to scientists and data scientists across both academia and industry. Uh, there's another brief area that we might be able to, um, that I might be able to have an impact on, and that is by bringing the expertise of the Software Sustainability Institute and uh, its networks into the development of the government data science ethical framework. Um, and this is something we produced in 2016 and are iterating in 2017. But one of the elements we really want to get in the current iteration is reproducibility, because ultimately we can't really assess whether or not we're being ethical if we can't actually reproduce the same numbers twice. And finally, 
really cross-cutting everything I've said so far, my main idea for the fellowship would be to bring together interested parties from across the various networks I'm involved in um, to one or more workshops or perhaps even an unconference. Uh, my work on this in government is really beginning to take off and there are a number of government departments who are interested in taking the work forward. To date, this has really involved training up analysts who, like many scientists, have little software engineering background and bringing them up to speed on various tools and techniques that can make life easier for them and their work more transparent. So this would be a really great opportunity, I think, to bring together interested parties from government, from academia, from the private sector, to generate technical discussions, not just on best practice, but also on the difficulties of scaling these approaches across an organisation or institution. And I hope that we'll be able to produce some written outputs from these workshops, um, and those will be hopefully valuable to everyone who participates.